so we continue with the lipids and uh, the structure of the triglycerides and this type of the lipids are consisted of the one glycerol molecule and connected to three fatty acid molecules through ester bonds which is formed during condensation reaction and a water so in the condensation reaction a water molecule here is produced during this reaction and an ester bond which is a covalent bond also joins one glycerol molecule to three fatty acids this is the structure of one glycerol molecule which has three carbon in its structure and it has hydrogen and also three hydroxyl group which is OH, OH and OH here at this side. The function of the triglycerols, you are, uh, how it is related to a structure, if they ask you, this is how you can explain. Triglycerides, they have, uh, their energy to mass ratio is quite high and they are good energy storage. Um, they are insoluble hydrogen carbons they have in the chain so they have uh, they are a very good waterproofing matter and they are slow conductors of the heat so um, it's a good thermal insulation you can make in your body and the animal's body so less dense than the water density is less than water so uh, it helps in the buoyancy of the aquatic animals and it has high melting point too so it protects your organs from any physical damage. The next, the next type of the lipids is the phospholipids, and exactly like the same, similar to the triglyceride, but one of the fatty acid in it is replaced by one phosphoric acid, as you can see. And the head is negatively charged and is polar, a polar molecule, and um, the head is hydrophilic because um, it loves, I mean, hydro means water and the fill means to like, so it means that it likes water. So usually it orients towards the uh, any um, uh, aqueous uh, environment or the solution. The other part is the tail, and the tail, uh, which is consistent of the, these two fatty acids, um, is hydrophobic, so it escapes. Uh, from the water, it moves away from the water. And um, the other part, which is the tail, is also non-polar. Okay, here you can get a better image of the phospholipid structure. So this is one glycerol molecule attached to one phosphate molecule and one colon molecule. This one is polar and the polar head. So it moves towards the um, water. And this one, the two, the, the tail, which is consisted of the fatty acids and is uh, non-polar. So usually the non-polar tail moves away from the water and usually forms a bilayer in the water. They may also ask you to draw uh, through a diagram to show how the phospholipids are actually placed in the cell membrane. I can show you the oil, for example, the phospholipids, make it a little bit simpler. So make it one circle, which is the head, and this is the tail, fatty acid tails. So um, the tail, they gather actually toward its, its, each, each other, see, because they are hydrophil. So if this is, for example, the this is the uh, cell membrane and this is the out of the cell and this is the inside of the cell in inside so which is like plasma nucleus and all these things so these are the phospholipids and the tails are toward each other and the heads are towards where you can find water. So here, here it is more liquid and water. So the heads are toward water and the tails actually you are oriented to toward each other. They gather in one place. And these big things are protein carriers. 
they help in moving in and out of the cell, uh, helping the nutrients to move in and out of the cell. So I continue going. And that's how it look like. Okay, I hope that you have understood this part of the lesson very well. So the macromolecule section is over here, the, uh, the lipids, the next chapter. The next part is proteins that we want to talk about. Thank you.